Is it okay to use dynamic mic like Shure SM50A for recording vocals? I know, I know. Everybody use 58 at a live show, house of worship, or I mean everywhere. But this workers can be the one for recording vocals instead of condenser mic like U87. By the way, I already made this comparison video between Neumann U87 AI and Rode NT1A. Both are condenser mics, but this time I'm going to compare a dynamic mic like SM58 to a condenser mic U87. This U87 is condenser mic, so I need to turn on phantom power. But SM58 is dynamic mic, so I don't need to do it. Make sure turn off the phantom power. I put my preamp gain up at 25 for U87, but for SM58, I need to put the knob at 55 to get the same amount of levels. And I add a little bit of 12K shelving to both mic to get more open sound. As you see, I angle both mics and match the diaphragm so I can compare them in the same condition. If we want to know more about why I angle a mic, I also made a video about it. This one also, you can check out the link below. Nachumantari Nalyangatsu SM58 has more 1 to 4K bump than U87, so it sounds more forward when you listen through the speakers. If your vocal needs to compete with a lot of guitars in a mix, SM58 is the way to go. Like Bono from U2, he used to record the vocal for an album like Joshua Tree. It's hard to use condenser mic in a live show because you can easily get feedback because condenser mic are too sensitive. The other way around, some people do not use dynamic mic for recording vocals because it's not sensitive enough to capture the details than condenser mic. That's what I thought. As you see, there is a dynamic range between sub singing part and loud singing part. Except for a phase issue, SM58 captured all part as U87 does. Unless you sing way further from it, this works fine with a studio recording. I think SM58 suits for rock instead of the elegant sound of music. Also, you need to capture with distance like recording choirs. This is not for you. But for the price, you can get 32 SM58 for <laughs> one U87. SM58 with a decent mic preamp, it's absolutely okay to use for recording vocals. Most of my live recording albums was done by SM58 for my voice. That is for today's video. As you know, hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Annyeong!